Prior to the 1980s, northeastern Pennsylvania was a tangled maze of railroad lines. At least eight Class Ones, by early 20th century standards, came to the anthracite region to claim their share of the booming coal business. Of course, the whole thing became Conrail on April 1, 1976, but not before each of the individual railroads left their own unique marks on the landscape. Before 1991 and the entry of the Canadian Pacific into the region, today's milepost 683.79 on the Sunbury Line was then milepost 205.2 on the Delaware and Hudson's Penn Division. And though the beloved D&H is now long gone from the area, a few of the relics of the bridge line to New England and Canada still remain. At the Laughlin Road grade crossing, located at the bottom of the northbound Yatesville grade, stands a rusty relic of the way railroading used to be. The single-masted southbound signal once guarded a main line that was double-tracked down to the D&H's Hudson Yard in Hudson, PA, and further down to the Pennsylvania Railroad's Buttonwood Yard located on Wilkes-Barre's southwest side. Looking behind us and behind the small valley business park located on Passan Drive, we can see the southern switch of the Yatesville siding. This siding was once part of the double-track main line. Notice to the right the decrepit remains of another track, perhaps some kind of industrial siding or lead track. Looking at a vintage photo, we can see the signal in its heyday. The Boston and Main unit and the Bay Window Caboose dates this photo at around 1985 and during the Guilford operating years. Also note that these are actually pushers and also that piggyback flat car before the caboose. Looking further, we can also see the second main line, still intact and in use, and also that industrial track to the right, also still in use. <laughs> 